Hey beautiful people and welcome to my channel, A Classic Situation, where we discuss faith, fashion, and self-care. Today, I'm going to be focused on self-care. Recently, I was having a conversation, as I normally do, with someone. And we were talking about fragrance. And if you've been on my channel before, then you do know I love fragrance. But I don't just wear fragrance when I go out. I also wear fragrance at home. And... I do understand not everyone does this. You may not deem it necessary, but I do. Um, because a part of self-care is me feeling good. Even when I'm at home, I like to look pretty decent. And um, I like to smell good. So even if I'm not going anywhere, when I wake up in the morning and put some clothes on, I also go ahead and spray on some type of fragrance or either I put on some type of lotion that smells good. I don't wear scented lotion too often. But like, if I'm running errands and I don't want to put on my most expensive fragrance. Or if I'm at home, of course I'm not going to spray on my most expensive fragrance. I'm going to put on something a little cheaper. Um, but that will still make me feel good while I'm at home. Also, I love taking baths. I love a shower too, but I love baths. And when I get out of a bath, I like to smell good and feel good too. So I just wanted to share a couple things. And I don't necessarily have any staple items. Um, every now and then, I just run across items that I like. Bath and Body Works, they normally send me a coupon for a free item. <clears throat> and lately, they've been sending them even more, even more often. And so I'll just go in and get my free item and... I'll normally just use it as my item, you know, my little self-care item, the item that makes me, you know, feel good even when I'm at home. So I also have um, aromatherapy options because sometimes they do help me relax. I may not have anyone, you know, here to give me a massage. However, when I do take a shower or a bath, I do have the options of putting on my aromatherapy um, collection that I got from Bath and Body Works as well. They smell really good. They're very lightly scented, not too heavily scented. And again, they, they smell re really good. And I normally don't have to layer them with anything, even though I am a layer girl. Okay, so I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with like... I'm just going to start. I'm, I'm just going to show y'all some stuff that I have. And I would love to hear your feedback down below. Do you all like to smell good around the house? Like, I even work from home. And when I get up in the morning to take a shower, a part of me feeling ready for the day is smelling like something. I want to smell good even when I'm around the house. Um, you never know who's going to be visiting. And you, you know, I, I, just, I don't like smelling just like skin. I feel like I have to smell like something, so... Anyway, I guess I'll start with the items that I've had the longest and then those items that are most my most recent purchases. So I'm going to start with these two by Bath and Body Works. This is the Aromatherapy Focus, right? This is the Aromatherapy Focus. It smells really good. The back of it says it has eucalyptus oil, tea extract. It clears the mind and it helps you focus. Um... And I would agree for all of the aromatherapy options, to be honest. The second one is this comfort one. And these are the older bottles. I don't even know if, because I was in there a few weeks ago and I didn't, the bottles didn't look like this, but you know how they constantly rebrand items and they'll try to name it something different. But the comfort has vanilla absolute patchouli oil. It calms the mind to encourage relaxation and it creates a sense of harmony. So that's the comfort and that's the focus. And these are really good for relaxation as they stated. They're good for massages if you're a person who likes massages, giving or receiving massages. And then I also have this one. This is the black chamomile and it's the sleep. <clears throat> it's the sleep one and it says vitamin E, aloe, shea butter, and it creates a sense of well-being and it calms the mind and body. And I love, I love this one. Now, this one is a little bit stronger, stronger than the rest. But it's very, it reminds me of a spa, though. Like, when I go get a professional massage, 
this is normally what I feel like they're putting on me, but it smells really good. Another aromatherapy option. Now, when I put on lotion, I always put on put an oil with it. Um, that's when I'm looking. The aromatherapy is just for relaxation, but like if I'm looking for moisture, then I'm normally going to mix the oil with it. But let me show you this last aromatherapy. This, this I was in <clears throat> Bath and Body Works recently looking for my free item and i happened to go to their aromatherapy section to see what they had and this was a new one this is the mimosa and spearmint and it is vitamin e aloe shea butter a blended aroma of mimosa and spearmint essential oils to surround yourself with balance and harmony um, and then it talks about embarking on a journey to find serenity Y'all, this smells so good that I had the girl in the that worked at the store in there sniffing it with me. You would have never convinced me that I would have wanted something with spearmint in it. But that mimosa kind of calms that mint down. And this is a different type of... I cannot even explain this fragrance. Like, but it's definitely something you would use for a massage now when i get out of a shower and i'm ready to go to sleep lately i've been putting this on just rubbing myself down in this it smells so good and it's so relaxing um but like i mentioned earlier when i get out of the tub or shower first of all i have dry skin okay i have eczema and so sometimes lotion doesn't do it for me and body butters, they're good, but I still have to mix them with the oil, the butter, something thick, really, that penetrates. But then I still look for a little bit of shine, so I mix it with the oil. Normally, I go with Johnson & Johnson Baby Oil or Johnson & Johnson Body Gel. But if I do find, like, a nice oil that's hypoallergenic, um, I'll purchase that too just to mix with my lotion or my body butter to give me the shine that I'm looking for. And so with that being said, this is my most recent purchase. Uh, one of my most recent purchases. It is the Palmer's Raw Shea Nourish Body Oil. Yeah, I wanted to get the Aveeno, but it's too expensive. That Aveeno body oil is like, depending on where you go, it's either $10 or $15. Baby, and I'm heavy handed with product so I've been using this and it honestly is very lightly scented but it smells so good it's like matter of fact I have it on now and I have it on with this this is now this you can get this this was like seven dollars and something I got this from Walgreens or somewhere I think you think it was Walgreens but um, I just took a shower and so I have on this cocoa and shea rich moisture body butter. Now it says fragrance com the fragrance is comforting in a creamy coconut. Let me tell y'all. I showed y'all this in my last video. Y'all see this body butter? And I'm heavy handed with product. I need something thick like this to penetrate my skin. What's interesting to me about this cocoa and shea, back in the day when we used to wear the Palmer's cocoa butter, you know, it has a very distinct smell. That's what this smells like. I would think this would smell like it since it is Palmer's, but I guess because it's the shea and not the um, cocoa butter, it, it's not as potent. But this smells just like the Palmer's cocoa butter. And sometimes it's a little not annoying but it's a little i don't know nostalgic i guess the word would be it just reminds me so much of it thankfully it has that shea in there to kind of pull down that cocoa butter smell but it's very like the back of it says it is comforting and it's definitely creamy it definitely has a creamy smell but i mix these two together and this is what i have on now I'm staying at home. I'm not going anywhere. I just went for a walk in the park, came home, took a shower, and I just like smelling good and feeling moisturized. So that's that. And then sometimes, now this is empty, but I did want to show y'all this. 
So sometimes even with bathing, this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. It's the brown sugar and coconut butter. And I don't know what it is lately with me and coconut. But y'all, this had this smells so good. It's empty now. But it smells so good. Let me get out of my And I would exfoliate in this. And then put something like this on top of it and mix it with that oil. The oil, like I said, it's not really, it's lightly scented. So you don't have to worry about smelling too strong. But those two do combine well. Um, along that coconut line, another thing I've been wearing is this. And I've been getting so many compliments on this. And I've been combining it with this. So, to start with this, this is Coco Paradise by Bath and Body Works. And it has vitamin E, aloe, shea plus cocoa butters. And it says hyaluronic acid. The fragrance notes are salted coconut manoi, sugar, neroli, and bronzed sandalwood. And I'm a woody type of girl. So, that coconut, that's cute. But my coconut has to be, like, it's, it has to be something combined with the coconut. I can't have too much coconut. And so... That bronzed sandalwood, it just does it for me, baby. And this is such a sexy nighttime smell, but I wear it all during the day. But lately, I've been, when I'm at home, if I take a bath or a shower, I'll put this on, and then I'll just spray this on top of it. And this is the Coconut and Cashmere Captivating Essences Perfume Spray. Y'all, this was $12 from Macy's backstage. I was looking for something light just to wear around the house. And I do wear this around the house, y'all, but I also layer this with my perfumes. So as you can see, and it has lasted me for quite some time and I plan on going to get another one. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be long lasting because it was only $12. So I thought it was gonna be like, maybe give me two hours. But it smells so good. And to, to be honest, this is a unisex fragrance. I could smell this on a male or a female. But normally when I get out of the shower, I moisturize. I spray this on as my first layer. And then if I'm going out, and then I put my clothes on. And then I spray my more expensive perfume on top of my clothes. And I get so many compliments from people, especially if these two are combined. And people are like, what is that smell? Like, it, it has like a hint of coconut. And it's normally this. Or if I get out of the shower and I put this on without this, but if I just moisturize in this and put one of my more expensive fragrances on, I get compliments. I mean, it's, it seems like I get more compliments on the cheap stuff than I do with the pricey stuff. That bothers me. But anyway... I love these two together. I love these two together. And when you have this on and you get ready to go, go to bed, honey, you really be feeling yourself. You be like, can't nobody tell me nothing. Okay. But um, again, this is Bath and Body Works. I don't know if I said that. Coco Paradise. And this is Cashmere and Coconut from Macy's Backstage. And again, it smells. Does it have anything about the notes on here? I guess co Cashmere and Coconut should be enough. Because they don't tell me anything else let me see if they have the notes written on here and i actually went the other day to see if they had um another bottle and they had they had plenty in stock so i do plan on going to get a this is a cute bottle too but i do plan on going to get another one because it's yeah, it's a nice little everyday spray on a walk around the house, you know, walk around the house fragrance. Um, another one is this. Now, y'all, this is the Zara Gold Woman Gold. I am not a fan of this fragrance. I, this was a blind buy. I normally do not buy fragrances online unless I have smelled them in person. And I bought, this was a blind buy, came in the mail, wasn't a fan. Um, I give it about a 5 out of 10, but I get compliments on it. It was like $17. It smells either like an older woman 
or it smells like a man could wear this too. Like this could be a unisex fragrance, but it's a little too. I don't know. I, I feel like when I was visiting my great aunt's house back in the day, um, and she had her little collection, this would have been this would have been a part of her collection. But I wasn't gonna waste my money. I couldn't return it, so I I spray this on and wear it around the house. And I normally combine it with something because the smell by itself. I mean, it's not bad. This just, if I had to smell this in the store first, I wouldn't have purchased it. I would not have purchased this. But um, I know people who wear it um, to each his own. But this is the Zara Woman Gold. And normally I layer it with something. And to be honest, I layer everything. So I don't care what kind of lotion, body butter I put on. I'm layering it with something else. I'm, I'm combining it with something else. So it's, even though that's a 5 out of 10, yeah. And this is the last thing. This is Velvet Petals. Um, and somebody actually gave this to my mom. She didn't want it, so I took it. And this is like a sexy nighttime fragrance for real. This is by Victoria's Secret. And it says Lush Blooms Almond Glaze Made You Blush. That's cute. That's real cute. But this is definitely like a bedtime, bedtime fragrance. Which doesn't surprise me because it's Victoria's Secret. So you can see how much I have left. And it's a very warm scent. Um, and of course I layer it. I put on one of these lotions or body oils that I just showed you. And I put this on. Again, that's Velvet Petals by Victoria's Secret. And yeah, that's my little collection for now. Okay. Um, this is my wear around the house. Layering. If I do go out, these are like my bases. Now, this, this oil is every day. I don't care if I'm going to work, church. I, I'm putting this on because I need an oil with whatever I put on. But, yeah, let me know. Do you, do, what do you wear around the house? Like, do you just get up, take a shower? That's it? Or do you, like, moisturize, take care of your skin? Do you like to smell good? I don't know. It just makes me feel, I don't want to say more feminine, but it just makes me feel good. Like, this is something that I do for me. I, I take care of my skin. I take care of my hygiene, even when I'm at home. So, yeah. Let me know below. I just wanted to share these items with you. I'm sure some of it will kind of change as we go into the fall months. I'm so excited about fall. But again, I do this routine in all seasons. I layer. I combine fragrances. People ask me what I'm wearing, child, I'm going down the list because I don't know what they smell. I don't know if they smell the base of what I have on or the top of what I have on. So, yeah, let me know what you guys do. And let me know if any of these items that I've shown are items that you use. Or if you have any suggestions, please list those down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye.